Hey guys, I just wanted to share something this morning that I thought was kind of funny and poignant from a video I was watching this morning. Um, so to kind of set the stage, the guy was talking about the ancient cosmology, you know, kind of uh, flat earth models and stuff, right? Um, how they compare to a uh, toroidal field, you know? Actually, they kind of mirror a toroidal field or a yin yang, right? So he's talking about um, how simple all this stuff is, you know, he's got... It's got this picture with the earth plane and the pole, you know, the firmament, and it's got heaven above and hell below, right? And I don't remember exactly why he was talking about it, but um, I'm always going on about word etymology, right? In the moment, he was talking about um, how these forces, uh, uh, heaven and hell, push and pull, became personified after a while, and that's kind of how they do with religion, because, you know... Um, helped control people they always put the cosmology in the, any religious book you know like how the earth was created you know because it's either to tell the truth to the people or it's to cover up the truth about our cosmology to control us you know on that subtle mental level but anyways so he's talking about how, how uh, heaven and hell were just positive and negative on magnetic forces that people personified and i'm like yeah of course it makes total sense right but then he was talking about inhale and exhale and i was like so when you breathe in you're pulling your attention down to hell, and when you're breathing out, you're exiting hell. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> and so, um, you know, because we have a toroidal field too, but that just goes to show you, I mean, I've said it before, it's like, um, it's like negative. What does negative mean? It means yang. What does yang mean? It means the space in your cereal bowl. It means so many things. It means the holes for your shoelaces. It's, it, it's ridiculous. Like, how can negative be considered quote-unquote hell, you know, or personified in a negative way um but this just kind of hit me on a subtle level too how always when we're constantly breathing in and out our attention is going back and forth from either end of the pole but the point is it's only one pole it's kind of funny because like um you see a yin yang that's a 2d image but the white dot and the black dot are two ends of one pole if you can think about it like that it kind of will change your perspective um, don't be scared of above and below. Every time we breathe in, we're in hell. And every time we breathe out, we, we have a chance to rise up to heaven, depending on how far your attention rises when you breathe. All right, folks.